Welcome. In this video, we'll show you how to use the Roundabouts Input Dialog in Sidra Intersection 9.1. This video is prepared with examples based on the Sidra standard left software setup with metric units. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel, hit like, and leave a comment on this video. We'd love your feedback. Now let's begin. An unsignalized roundabout or a roundabout with metering signals site can be created using the roundabout command in the Add New Site command group under the Site tab. You can also select one or more roundabouts from templates available under the Site Templates command. When a roundabout site is selected in the project pane, the roundabout's input dialog becomes available in the Site Input section. It includes input parameters specific to roundabouts. Before using the Roundabouts dialog, the general roundabout geometry and movement configurations are established in the intersection, movement definitions, and lane geometry input dialogs. In this tutorial, we will use a three-leg roundabout example with a bus bypass lane. This lane is configured by entering data in the Movement Definitions and Lane Geometry dialogs. Click Roundabouts in the Site Input section to open the input dialog. The Options and Roundabout Data tabs will always appear in the Roundabouts dialog. In the Options tab, the Roundabout Capacity Model, Roundabout Level of Service Method, and Delay Model are set by default according to the Software Setup option selected during the software installation. You can select the options in the roundabout level of service method and delay model groups, irrespective of the roundabout capacity model chosen. Changes to the HCM delay formula and exclude geometric delay parameters will apply to all site types. The HCM roundabout capacity model extension parameter is applicable only if the selected capacity model is US HCM6, HCM6 Extended, or US HCM2010. This option is useful since the original US HCM6, HCM6 Extended, and HCM2010 capacity models do not include modeling of unbalanced flow conditions. Check the relevant box to apply the SIDRA method for unbalanced flow conditions as an extension to the selected HCM model. The section titled Other Roundabout Models includes secondary models provided for research purposes. Check the option boxes if you want to include the capacity estimates from these models in the detailed output report. Let's make a few changes in the Approach-Based Geometry table in the Roundabout Data tab. As you enter data in the Geometry table, the relevant approaches will be highlighted in the Layout display. In front of the East approach, change the number of circulating lanes to 1 and the circulating width to 8 meters.
and insert a circulating transition line in front of the south approach by ticking the checkbox. For the SIDRA standard capacity model, the SIDRA standard roundabout capacity model calibration parameters table will be available to modify the environment factor and entry circulating flow adjustment parameters when necessary. Refer to the user guide for definitions of the roundabout geometry parameters. Now let's have a look at the roundabouts dialog for a roundabout with metering signals. If the site type is a roundabout with metering signals, the roundabout metering tab will appear. Data specified in other tabs of the roundabouts dialog will apply. The Roundabout Metering tab includes various design and signal timing parameters unique to roundabouts with metering signals. Click the symbols on the image to define metered and controlling approaches. Inspect the layout picture as you make the changes to ensure that you obtain your desired combination of metered and controlling approaches. The Cycle Time option and Phase Data Input sections include signal timing parameters specific to roundabouts with metering signals. This concludes our tutorial on the Roundabouts Input Dialog in SIDRA Intersection 9.1. Thank you for watching.